to our assembly on Wednesday the 23rd of March and as always we will start with the house points. So in third place Romans, second place and Normans, uh, second place Saxons and Normans, first place this week Vikings. So if a Viking would like to come up and collect the trophy. Uh, classes, it's not a primary class this week and it can't be middle because unfortunately they haven't been here because of COVID. So it's secondary and the winning class this week is LB class. Well done LB class. And finally, the uh, attendance trophy, third place 10S with, nine, with 85%, second place red class with 92%, first place with 95%, GB class. Well done to all of you. Right. Well, as we are waiting for the Golden Book, I would like to point out that I've just been into Red Class, where Red Class and GB Class were, uh, were working together and they made these lovely necklaces. And you can see one in the corner there that they made for me. So lovely to see classes working together. Right, we will go on with the Golden Book. And let's go straight into the Helpfulness Trophy. Who's won the Helpfulness Trophy this week? Well, I will give you a clue. If you look at the small screen, you can see this lovely flower here that I've just bought. And the trophy this week goes to Sarah and Helen. So uh, Sarah and Helen are part of the PSFA and they work very hard and they put up, made this lovely uh, Mother's Day shop with lots of flowers and cards so that we could buy um, presents for mothers or for special people in your lives. So thank you so much to Sarah and Helen for the very hard work. I noticed that this week uh, they've been giving up at least a day, if not more, a lot more than that, um, putting everything together. And uh, so thank you to you for being so kind and uh, producing those lovely Mother's Day presents. And that leads us nicely on to our word of the week, kindness. So what does kindness mean? Well, we all know what kindness means, really, don't we? It means being friendly, generous, considerate. And uh, we could try using uh, sentences with the word kindness. And then we could actually try practicing it. So here's a bit of... Um, homework for this week. Try each day to deliberately be kind to someone. And if you manage to do that, tell your teacher who you've managed to be kind to. So let's try and look out for one another and be kind, especially this week as our word of the week is kindness. Let's move on. Gardening. And we have a gardening trophy. And this week, the gardening trophy goes to Buddy in GB class. And you can see him how enthusiastic and concentrating he is as he plants his seeds. So well done to Buddy. You may come and collect the trophy. And let's move on to green class. Green class have done some great work. So it was St. Patrick's Day on the 17th. And here they are making some uh, shamrock collages and finger painted leprechauns. 
So some lovely photos there. Well done to Green Class. Uh, Josh um, did made these cut out pupils at home, which we will get stuck up in the foyer, saying everybody is somebody at Cedar Hall. Well done to Josh. Great idea. In LB class, Flynn, Lashan, and John had a great focus and made some interesting observation on their spring senses work. And Flynn has done some great maths work independently. So well done to all of you. Uh, now, whilst middle school have been away, Rohan has been my uh, egg collector. And uh, here he is uh, collecting eggs for me. And he collected 14 all together. You can see the happy chickens in the background. Now you can't get free range eggs at the moment, apart from at Cedar Hall, um, because as you can see, the birds can't get in. Um, they are perfectly safe there. So if you would like some eggs, uh, remember to bring some money in, one pound 50 for six and uh, go to the office. They are very tasty. Still with LB class, well done to Evie Kingston and Oliver for their patience and effort in computing uh, when they were making apps. Some great stuff going on there. And Jack was 14 on Sunday last week. So happy birthday to Jack. Well done to you. Uh, thank you to everyone in 10S. Um, they really behaved well um, and made some lovely moss um, figures. So these were actually made out of moss. How clever is that? They did this at Rittle last week and behaved really well. So I'm sure Mr. Sankey will be delighted to hear that. Uh, GCSE Science, um, they are testing the elasticity of materials. So they were comparing strawberry, cola and fruit lace sweets and seeing how much they stretch with different weights attached to them and uh, doing some experiments on that front. So you can see it's quite a, a tricky, sticky job, I imagine, uh, but they uh, applied themselves really well. So well done to you guys. Uh, well done to uh, Luke, Millie and Buddy, Kieran, Caitlin and Phoebe and Archie for confident reading and volunteering to read parts of the play in James of the Giant, James and the Giant Peach. And uh, GB have done some excellent gardening and Mrs Chapman was very impressed with your work. And here is Jason. Jason came and showed me that he'd done some great phonics works independently. Well done, Jason. And sticking with GB class, all of GB had a fabulous whole day visit to Hyde Hall. And there they are. And uh, some, some great places to see at Hyde Hall. Look forward to going there one day soon. Timetable rock stars. Biggest correct answers over the last seven days. In third place, John Irons. Second place, Ilana. First place, Grace. Well done to you three. And biggest improvement in accuracy over the last seven days. Third place, Carlos. Second place, Alexis. And first place, James. So well done to all of you. So that brings us to the end of our assembly. Quite a short one this week. Um, we hope to have everybody back for the final week, um, despite the COVID numbers still being very high. So take care. Remember, washing your hands is still really important and um, wear masks when um, if you're secondary aged and you are close up to others. 
Uh, hope you have a good week and please continue to send us your photos uh, so that they can be included in our assemblies.